Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, yesterday the market was somewhat subdued, even though the, the momentum in the Australian dollar was a little bit mixed. Still, looking at the technical aspect, we can still see that the RSI is holding to a negative bias, along with the MACD, with the marriage together, could see further pressure to the downside until we see some kind of change from these indicators, which isn't quite happening at the moment. Therefore, I still hold the view that we could see a weaker play and still keep it in mind the support level around or the base as a broader target of 71.6080 that may come into play. Reason behind that is the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, has hit the pause button in terms of the bullish rally, but still hovering around the 95.60 highs. And looking at the euro, which is weighted to the US dollar at 57.6, is lacking momentum after posting this bearish um, dragonfly doji, which in a sense is bullish, but because it's a bearish candle, it has a little slightly weaker sentiment. However, looking at the technicals, they are struggling and therefore could see further risk back to the downside and maybe look towards that low around 112.60 or down to 112.10 and reassess from there. The dollar yen since the bearish outside range day is not quite getting the confirmation to support the bear case, but the indicators are still somewhat buckled and therefore could see a little bit more downside risk if we see a move under the level around 113.70. That would expose the region of 113.20 or even the target of 112.65 and reassess from there. The pound, since the bullish outside range day, lacks momentum, but still, from a technical point, it's still relatively holding to a, or support in the case for a further climb with the cap seen around 136 and a base potentially at the moment is just around this where the bullish outside range days is around 133.80.90. CAD yen still in this range of 90, 20, 30 to 91, 40 top side. After the bearish outside range day, we didn't get any fodder through and actually seeing some small candles coming back to the bull side. Still keep an eye on these technicals that we still see a rejection from the midway point, could see another challenge of that 90.20, and a New York close under there will give further indication down to 89.45. Looking at gold, what well, has been a very choppy week. After rejecting that top side, and maybe a bull trap was set around 1,876, is the market is holding above the key level, which confirms that outside range day at 1,844. Now, a New York close would give further confirmation down to 1,844. 14, 16 area, but keep an eye on these indicators. Not quite supportive yet to the bear case, but still, nevertheless, the market is still keeping an eye on that support level. And wrapping up with oil, the market since breaking down still looks towards that target of 74.80. And while we remain capped around that 80.30 level, I feel for the indicators does support a bear case. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the Inchter Report. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day and a great start to the weekend.